it's no okay okay cool you know nothing should be a factor that will hinder us from expressing gratitude to God. So the same energy that God uses to, to portray his love is the same energy that we should use to pour out gratitude. God, my gratitude to you will not be stopped by death. My gratitude to you will not be stopped by demons or, or, or even angels. My gratitude to you um, will not be determined by heights, nor death, nor anything in creation. My gratitude to you will be simply because you are God. That's it. There ain't nothing else. <laughs> Guys, I always try to be very um, <laughs> conservative, but there's always just something, you know? But anyway, um, you're, so basically um, gratitude is the currency of a spirit. Um, gratitude is the principle of God. and Gratitude should not be influenced by anything. It should not be determined by anything other than the fact that Jesus is Lord and that God is good. And so um, my, my, my fourth point is that gratitude is not a ground for complacency, but power. And basically, this now I'll, I'll 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 tell you guys the story as I go as I go further. But basically, what 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 this means is that just because you are grateful, it doesn't mean that you need to sit there. You know, there is always more in Christ, and gratitude actually gives you power. You get what I'm trying to say? Gratitude is power. So. Um, I was just going about with my business and I was just, you know, meditating and praying to God and just asking him to just give me a word regarding gratitude. And I was scrolling through my old phone, going through my notes. And I realized that I used to write like 10 things I'm grateful for each and every month, you know, and I was just thinking about it, like, okay, what happened? How did I stop? Why did I stop? You know? And so I found my, my 2022 prophetic word that I had written, and I just want to read something that I wrote. And so um, this basically comes from the prayers. We were doing prayers for this year with my friends and I, and this is the word that God gave me. And so we're just going to open it before I read what I want to read. And this is in the book of Second Chronicles, chapter 20, verse 22. And so, um, well, it's verse 22, but I'm going to start from verse... From verse 21. And it says, after consulting the people, um, Jehoshaphat appointed men to sing to the Lord and to praise him for the splendor of his holiness. Why were they praising him? They were praising him because he's holy. They were not trying to bribe him with their praises. They were not trying to get something out of God when they were praising him, okay? It says that they were praising him for the splendor of his holiness. As they went out at the head of the army and they said, give thanks to God for his love and yours forever. And so this is, this is, this is my verse right here. As they began to sing and praise, the Lord set ambushes against the men of Ammon and Moab at Mount Seir, who were invading Judah, and they were defeated. And so um, basically in the word that we, we received for 2022 was that the weapon for 2022 is praise and gratitude. So if you are going to win any battle whatsoever, you win this battle from the pedestal of gratitude. You conquer from a, it's like, like gratitude is like a stage and you just stand by virtue of you standing there. That's it. You are done. You are done. The Lord has set ambushes against your enemy. And I love this verse because when you read further down, it says, <laughs> As they began to praise, 
the enemy started to fight each other. So the people that were ganging, were ganging up against the children of God, they started to fight each other. So basically it's like, all you have to do is be grateful. All you have to do is stand um, on your platform of praise and everything else will happen. It's none of your business. All you have to do is just praise the Lord. All you have to do is just remain grateful and everything else will fall into place on your behalf, you know? And, and so gratitude is a place of power. Gratitude is praise. Gratitude is worship. Gratitude is a lifestyle. It's not just a thing that you do in one moment and in the next moment, it's just like, no, I'll see it after like a, a couple of weeks, you know? You wake up every day and you thank God. Every breath you breathe, should be of gratitude, should be grateful. Because imagine what would happen if God just decides, you know what, let me switch off this oxygen for like 10 minutes. I wanna see how these ones will survive. There will be no survival. We are just done. <laughs> it's over for us, you know? And so gratitude should be, it, it, <sighs> how can I even say it? I don't even know how to say it right now, but gratitude should literally be Every breath we breathe, everything inside of us should just cry out, thank you, Jesus. Everything inside of us, every fiber of our beings, every breath that we bring should just cry out, thank you, Jesus. And so gratitude is your weapon of warfare. You know, you don't need to fight. I just learned something. Um, as a result of our discussions with Prince and Vanessa, I was also listening to them um, yesterday. And he said something, Prince said something so profound. He said, if you know God's love for you, you won't even have to pray reactive prayers. So if you have that dream that scares you, you won't wake up and you bind and you do this. You're just like, you know what, <laughs> sweetheart, I'm not here for you, Satan. No, I'm not your friend, you know? So basically, if you know God, your your heart posture is in the place of gratitude you know and so i love this because it says that as they, as they began to sing the lord set ambushes um the lord set ambushes against the men of ammon and mount Seir who were invading judah and they were defeated the ammonites and the moabites rose up against the men of mount Seir to destroy and annihilate them after they finished slaughtering the men, they helped to destroy one another. Guys, this is what gratitude does. <laughs> yeah. Gratitude causes the enemy, the people that, what's the word? What's the word, you guys? Um, what is another word for coming together? The people that come together um, to, to uh, like, I, I can't think of the word from the top of my head, but the people that come together to destroy, to conspire, yes, ma'am, thank you. The people that, that, that conspire, that come together to, to gang up against you, the people that come together to destroy your destiny, the people that release word, word curses in the atmosphere concerning you, just by virtue of you praising and worshiping, they, gang up again they help each other to destroy each other that's just hectic that is hectic and this makes me realize once again that life is so spiritual um life is so spiritual to not live a lifestyle of prayer and gratitude and worship you know there's so much that is happening in the atmosphere you cannot afford to give the enemy even a little space to get into your destiny or to have influence in your destiny by complaining, by not re realizing that God has been so good to you, by not seeing how good God is in your life. You see, because this is what ignorance does. If you don't see that God is working in your life now, that gives the enemy a chance to whisper things into your mind or to, 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 to influence how you act or how you worship or how you pray, you know? So um, yeah, gratitude should not be determined by any circumstances, but more than anything, gratitude is your power. 
Gratitude is your power. I love the scripture in Luke chapter 18, where Jesus Christ says, men ought to pray and not faint. You know, I'm switching it up today. Men ought to be grateful and not get tired of being grateful. <laughs> don't get tired of thanking God, even when you don't see it. There's a song that says, even when I don't see it, you're working. You know, even when I don't feel like it, Jesus, I know you are working. And, 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 and the Bible says that they that wait upon the Lord, wait in the place of gratitude. They that wait upon the Lord, you are not just waiting in vain. In that place of waiting, God is building you. He is renewing your strength. And the moment you are released, he is going to catapult you to a higher realm of glory. You shall mount up with wings as an eagle. You will run. You will run and not get weary. You will walk and not faint. So even as you are in the place of waiting, wait grateful, wait thankful. Because when God releases, when God begins to do, when you begin to see, these blessings will blow your mind. These blessings will shock you. And in the kingdom of God, shocking is standard procedure because it's biblical. The Bible says that I will bless you so much, your mind, your, your, your mind will swim. Even you, you won't be able to explain. You see, but God wants you to be grateful at all times. So, um, and so this is, these are the couple of things that I've written down. And this is what God is saying concerning gratitude today, that the place or the posture of gratitude, it unlocks breakthroughs. The posture of gratitude, it restores wasted years. The, po the posture of gratitude, it releases answers. The posture of gratitude, it breaks the yoke on your necks. The posture of gratitude, it, re it, res it results in a transformed um, in a transformed life, the posture of gratitude causes for the people of God to be rooted in the path of answers, to be rooted in the path of blessings, in the path of power, in the path of love, in the path of soundness, in the path of righteousness. So when you are grateful, you are walking in the path of righteousness. You are here to portray God's glory. God set you out of darkness and he placed you in light that you may show forth his glory. So be ye thankful because in the posture of gratitude, God will make you an example. God will make you, um, um, I don't want to say public spectacle, but God will make you an example of his glory and his power. You know, the posture of gratitude causes for unanswered prayers to begin to materialize. So when you murmur, you just you just keep things, you know, in limbo, like things just keep floating. But the moment you thank God, you call a release because gratitude is faith. Even Shingy said it yesterday that we should have gratitude even when we don't see it. The substance of things hope for the evidence, the evidence of things not seen. How is there evidence if something is not seen? Doesn't even make sense, but it makes sense in God's kingdom. So gratitude is that evidence of things not seen. The moment you thank God, even for the stuff that you do not see, they are, they are a done deal. They are released. And so one more thing. Gratitude releases supernatural favor that will cause God to pour out blessings that even you feel like you are unworthy of. So this is what gratitude does, you guys. Um, I think I can, I'll, I'll just write it down for everybody and I'll send it in the group so that you guys will always remember that gratitude, ooh, it unlocks breakthroughs and even the blessings that you feel like you don't deserve. By virtue of you being grateful to God, God will pour them out. You know, even the grace, you know, God will give you so much grace and supernatural favor that even the people around you will say like, but how, how, how is it that God chose you to, to give this to, or why did God choose to give this to you? Simply because you have a grateful heart. You are anchored in the place of gratitude at all times. So um, having said that, I pray that, I pray that 
God helps you by the power of the Holy Spirit and that he continues to remind you to be grateful. Rejoice always and always give thanks. Always give thanks. Not sometimes, not only on Tuesdays, but always give thanks simply because God is good and his mercy and love um, endures forever. So yeah, I hope that everybody has been blessed. May God bless you. May God keep you. Thank you so much, Pastor T. <laughs>